Would you like to trade without stress? I'm going to show you the simplest day trading strategy that I've used for the last 30 years that's worked for me. A day trading strategy that will help you become a profitable trader and a break-even trader at least, rather than a losing trader. And it's all about keeping it simple, keeping it easy, and basic trading. It's not, it's price action. It's so easy to trade with my particular systems. And I'm gonna go to the charting. I'm gonna show you in the charts today how this all works and how you can trade the same way I've been trading for the last 30 years. So let's go into the office guys and let's go and talk about this today. So this is a system that you can reproduce over and over again. Uh, to make you money in the stock market, to be, to make you secure, to ensure that you're doing the same thing that's making you money over and over again. But the important thing to understand is that it's all in the psychology. You've got to become a good loser to become a good winner because every, every system is 50-50. There's no guarantees with any system. But what this system will do for you is it will help you manage your risk. It's so important to understand how to manage risk because if you can manage your risk and you can become a good loser and a great winner, it's going to be so much easier for you to make a profit in the stock market. As you probably know, if you've watched my videos in the past, you probably know that ooh, by now you should know that I trade support and resistance, supply and demand, and that type of trading. In other words, I'll use a support and a resistance, or I'll use trend lines to do my trading with, and I'll trade within those sort of parameters. Parameters was the word I'm looking for, parameters. Parameters. We're looking to trade within the parameters and stay within those parameters because that's where the profit lies. And then understand how to manage your risk so that you don't take a big loss. If you're wrong, and you're going to be wrong 50% of the time because trading is a 50-50 game, I reiterate it every single video. I tell you guys that trading is a 50-50 game. 50% 50 of the time when you take a trade, you're going to make a loss. And 50% of the time, when you take a trade, you're going to have a win. Simple as that, really. Not complicated. Don't overcomplicate it. Why do you guys overcomplicate trading with all these fancy systems where it touches here and it moves there and it, the moon turns brighter? Guys, just, you know, stay with it. Stay with a simple concept. Manage your risk and you'll make the money. Because trading's not about a system. The system gives you the edge in the market and the systems that I give you will give you the edge in the market. But what you actually need more than an edge in the market is the psychology to win and lose with those trades and make a profit because what it's about is being able to make the smallest loss possible and the biggest win possible and that's where your success will come from at the end of the day trading is risky 80 percent of traders lose money and if you don't like losing money you most probably shouldn't be trading and I, as i always tell you guys go and get the free forex book in the description enjoy it it's a free pdf it's there and it's there for you and while you're there visit the secret blog and get your free trade of the day every single day i'll put a trade of the day out the trade of the day is basically there just so that you can understand how the market works it's just a trading idea it's not trading advice just remember that guys i don't give trading advice that's not my thing my thing is just to teach you how to trade or to help you learn how to trade because i got a bit tired of all the guys out there promising you that you can invest a hundred dollars and make a million dollars in a week knowing and that's not gonna happen guys it's just not gonna happen i mean how do you become a doctor in one day or a mechanic in one day or whatever you want to be it doesn't work like that it just doesn't work like that and even if you're a pro trader i'll give any pro trader a hundred dollars and tell him to turn it into a million dollars in a week or even a month in fact even a year let me see it happen should be interesting you're gonna to have to be extremely lucky for that to happen firstly you've got to win 10 to 15 trades in a row maximizing every single bet on geared trading and i haven't seen many people do that without pure just unadulterated luck that doesn't work. It's never going to work, never has worked. And the only people that it's worked for have actually been pretty lucky. And then once they reach that pinnacle, they just trade small amounts and then they act like they made a fortune, which they did not. So trading is all about getting a hit in the right place and learning to avoid fear. We'll talk about fear after we've looked at the charts again. So let's go and have a look at the charts. Let's go and see how we trade. Then we can talk about the fear and managing your risk. This is the simplest day trading system or trading system or swing trading system or investing system, basic system that you could possibly use in the stock market to make you 
profitable trader or even a break even trader if necessary. I'm just going to choose any old product here because we were on the gold. I'm just going to this one, which is the Great Bullish Pound US Dollar. I just want to see what it looks like. I'm interested to see what it looks like effectively because the last time we traded this was, yeah, see, there's my trend lines. It's broken out of the trend. It's gone long. Wonderful stuff. Now, let's, let's just have a quick look at what we've got here. What we did, we got this resistance and this support off of our daily charts way back. And that was here. There was the resistance. There was the support. And in between, there was a four hour that we added in. I'm just going to go back to the four hours here. I'm going to show you guys something because it's a simple trading system. So now what's happened here? This is now invalid because what's the point of having that in there if it's not going to be used? We were using it trade with when it was in the middle here. What you do is you take your daily levels, which is your resistance and your support and then you add your if you're trading five minute one hour four hour doesn't matter one second you take your levels that you're trading with in that time frame as well in between the main levels the main levels just give you guidance but what can you see here the main level has changed this is no longer a resistance it is now a support level and why is it now a support level why has it become a support level what makes it a support level well you see here it's broken through the resistance it's gone out look it's made a double top pencil top which means it could go all the way short again so don't rely on this breakout but it has come back to test it it's come back to test it so this is fast becoming a resistance and if it breaks upwards and moves away from this resistance, this now becomes resistance. I mean, it now becomes support and is no longer resistance. It's now become support. What you've got to be careful of on this particular one is if you look to the left here, you can see that there's a there's another pulse of top over here which has dropped it all the way back through. Now you could consider this, it's not at the same level, but you could almost consider this a large double top. So that's a pattern in the market when you get an area. So it's an area of resistance and that's an area of resistance. So while this was our main area of resistance on the daily, this is another kind of area of resistance. It's created a kind of double top and the pulse of top is usually quite a big sign of short. So be very careful about taking something like this long when if this exists on the left of it. So what you've got to wait on this one is wait for confirmation that this is going to break upwards. What I would do to confirm that is wait until it gets above this. If it gets above this, then you're probably looking at a pretty good long trade. It'll probably go above, come back, test and go. So that's as how you look at a situation such as this one. If you go to the normal situations like the Euro and Great British Pound, for example, this is a clear, this is a daily, again, daily levels. There's your support, there's your resistance. Now, what you're looking at here, it's in a downtrend on the four hour, but it's hit this support, which it's hit a number of times in the past. And the only way that you're not going to take this long is if it breaks through the support and recess and goes short. Generally, this is going to be a long trade, but you've got to wait for the green candle to come out and then you can take the long trade. There's a green candle long trade, you see. Now, you could wait for the retests because often these things come back and retest. So you take the green one, it comes back, retest, take the green one, and then you can go long. But you do have to be careful of that because sometimes it doesn't retest. What I would recommend to you is just take the long when the green bar comes out because if you take the long when the green bar comes out and it comes back to test it it's no big deal and it's just going to go long anyway so you could have taken this one long here or here and you just put your stop loss below the support area and then you'll be fine you may have heard the bird chirping in the background wonderful <laughs> yeah we live in africa and we've got lots of wildlife of course that's your support and resistance there's your resistance there's your support very easy to determine i mean if we go back to the one we were looking at just now which was the gold this bird won't shut up in the background will it weighs a little bugger anyway so there's gold you see it didn't break through the resistance it actually stayed within its resistance level all the way to the left there so it went in and came straight back out now there's a nice big red bar which says go short so you go short with the hopes that it's going to go all the way to the bottom but what we've done is we've got our daily level and then we've got our four hour level in the middle here this is another support so you can actually take this trade when it comes back into the support and trend support and go long up to the main resistance and then take a short down to the support level so it's as simple as that guys it's a simple trading system which i've been using for what, about 30 years works for me and it probably should work for you as well it works and it helps
But don't forget, guys, it's all in the head. It's all psycho psychological. It's all about getting your psychology right, managing your roots. So that's the charts and the system. Don't overcomplicate the system, guys. It's really quite simple, quite straightforward. Nothing unusual about it. You don't have to wait for a full moon. You don't have to wait till the sun comes out. You don't have to wait for a million stars to show in the sky on the left instead of the right for you to take a trade or to sell a trade or anything to that effect. It's extremely easy and extremely extremely simple and extremely straightforward. It's all about using your head and keeping the fear out. Everyone's got a natural sense of fear. If a dinosaur arrived in your backyard when you were a caveman, you would have a natural fear for that dinosaur. But for some other reason, we've adopted that, that fear trigger in our financial world, in our money world. So if we have a certain amount of money invested and we're, we're gambling with it or we're trading with it or we're putting it on something and it starts to lose, we suddenly, our fear trigger seems to kick in and we start doing strange things to try and protect ourselves from that emotion of loss because we're so afraid of that emotion of loss because the emotion of loss is incredibly strong. You'll, you won't believe how strong the, the loss emotion is, particularly with finance. And the more you lose, the bigger it gets. So another thing that I always advise beginner traders is, is when you're investing, try to invest what you can afford. Don't overdo it. Don't go big. Don't go too big because when it starts losing you're gonna feel it it's the same as the emotion when you start winning amazing when you start winning how that emotion is so exciting that it, it can overcome you as well and when you get that excited what do you do with the next trade you over trade and what do you do with the trade after that if you want again you over trade again and what does the market do to you when you do that it takes it all away and it takes it all away faster than you can blink an eye it's really 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 quick be careful of fear watch out for fear and try to manage your losses keep your losses small and then you'll be quite successful in the markets i'm investigating guys if, if, if anyone's interested in me making an extra video every week on the weekend say uh which will basically look at a stock that you might be interested in investing in or look at a chart but only on a charting basis not on a fundamental basis just have a look at the research on the chart for you research your stock let me know what index it's in and I'll have a look and make a video with regards to anybody who's asking that sort of thing. But yeah, obviously I can't answer on 400 different stocks as well. So if everyone's interested, I'm in big trouble here. I'm expecting maybe one or two or three that I can look at for people that if you're struggling with it and you're really not sure if you want to invest in Apple or Tesla or Coca-Cola or something like that, we can have a look at what the best entry is and what the best extra is for you. Just a bit of free advice and a bit of fun. So as I always say, don't believe what all the gurus tell you about turning $100 into a million dollars. Not going to happen. Don't ever complicate things. Don't get out of your sort of realm of comfort. Don't go mad. Stay in your comfort zone and you'll be okay. So until the next video, guys, I want to thank you for watching and thanks for all those subscribers. Really appreciate it. Until next time, thanks, cheers, and bye.